Hello everyone. Welcome to Minds of Machine, my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial series, our main objective is to focus on the one of the techniques of prompt engineering, which is progressive prompting. As we all know, prompt engineering is a principle and guideline that holds immense importance in various domains. And if you master this, you will gain the ability to craft effective prompt that yields accurate and valuable response from machine learning model. So in this, uh, we will be learning how to do prompt development in progressive nature. So as we all know, while developing an application using large language model, we need to develop prompt. And when I have developed an application with large language model, I don't think uh, I have ever come across the first prompt as my final prompt or the first application as my first uh, final application. As long as you have a good process to iteratively make your prompt better, then you will be able to do something that works well for the task you want to achieve. So in today's uh, tutorial, we are going to mainly focus on this technique of prompt engineering. As you can see in the screen, the, that it involves an iterative approach where prompts are continuously revised and refined based on the feedbacks and insight that is gained from the previous iteration. So in this process, we will be uh, recur recursively or iteratively improving the clarity and effectiveness as well as the quality of the prompt so that it gives us the desired outcome. As we all have seen in the previous uh, tutorial, our first step is to set up. So in this setting up, we will be just loading the open API key and then we will use the function called as get completion function in which we will use GPT 3.5 turbo as a model and uh, we will uh, use the open AI chat completion create to get the response based on our prompt. So in this, uh, we will be learning this technique by creating an engaging marketing product description based on the information provided in the product fact sheet. For example, in our case, we are using a fact sheet for smartphones. So we will be create, uh, we will, as you can see, there's the fact sheet about the product, uh, which is a smartphone with the description, features, dimension, material, and the country of origin. So, and we will be passing it to the uh, variable that is fact smartphone and we will be running the cell. Once it is run, the data is assigned to the variable. Next, uh, we will be uh, defining our first prompt. In this, we will be defining that our objective is to assist the marketing team in crafting a product description for a retail website and this description should be derived from the technical specifications which we have provided within the triple back ticks that you can see on this, uh, this prompt where we have mentioned the fact underscore smartphone within the three back, triple back ticks. So we are telling our prompt that the uh, we need to create the product description based on uh, using this fact smartphone so now let's run the cell and see what response we get as you can see the, it has given us a very big product description but it's uh, usually uh, as per our instruction which we had told in the prompt but this particular thing is too large for our website the description so in the next prompt, we will be focusing on reducing the size of the text so that we can have a small description as in the site, we don't read the very large description. So now our next prompt is to reduce the size of the text. In this, we will improve or add a new statement to our prompt, making, uh, making it even more better so that it knows that we need only 100 words. So the description is uh, as it is, but there are a few things that are added. As you can see, the description is intended for website retailers, so should be technical in nature and focus on the material the product is constructed from and we are also telling the prompt that we only need 100 words and 
uh, it knows that the product uh, the smartphone description is there within the triple ticks so now we will run the cell and we will see the description as you can see the description is within the 100 words and it looks smaller now in our third thing uh, third time we will be doing is we will be trying to uh, change the focus of the text if sometimes the prompt might give uh, a long description but it might not focus on the correct part so here we will be telling uh, the uh, in the prompt to correct whether the text to focus on the correct part so what i will do is i will tell that uh, the description is intended for website retailers so should be technical in nature and focus on the material the product is constructed from and at the end of the description we should include every seven characters of the product id and the technical mentioned in the technical specification so you will see that it will give us the product id at the end uh, making it focus on the correct part of the text as you can see in the end uh, uh, of the uh, output that it has given the dimensions the screen size and the product id as 1 2 3 4 so now we will uh, try with one more example uh, for the focusing on right part of the text that is after the description include a table that gives the product dimension the table should have two columns and in the first column the name of the dimension and in the second column measurement in inches only and given the table title should be product dimensions and then the technical specification and finally uh, within the three texts we have mentioned are a uh, variable name that is fact smartphone in which the content is there so now i will run the cell and we will see the output now the output should have this product dimension in tabular format as you can see in the output the product dimension is provided in the tabular format with dimension and measurements and the title as product dimension you can see over there Now next is a describe a description needs a table of dimensions which means we have to extract and arrange the data in the table format. So this is uh, like we are trying to improve the prompt uh, by telling it we need to extract certain information and we need to arrange it in the table format so that we can use it for our websites. So as you can see I have written after the description include a table that gives product dimension and below that uh, uh, I have told the table the title product dimension then we have to uh, format everything as HTML that can be used in the website. So we don't have to do an, any extra work by typing an HTML we can tell the model itself by in improving our prompt uh, to provide everything in the HTML uh, syntax uh, and also description in which element we want so now we will see how the output will look like as you can see our output is now uh, being uh, displayed with the div and the table uh, tags of html so we can directly copy this and paste in our website code and this way the details will be shown now we can see how it we will view in the html website so we will directly display our response and it will give the html view of the website so here we end uh, the tutorial of progressive prompt development so this is the end of our tutorial and this is how we will uh, implement the progressive prompt development uh, technique in our uh, large language application uh, models or during our development and these techniques will help you to give a better responses. Uh, thank you uh, so much for tuning in and sticking with me throughout the video. I hope you found this tutorial useful and enlightening that is that it has helped you on your journey. So now in the next tutorial I will be showing you the, the different techniques of prompt engineering. 
uh once again thank you so much for your time keep learning keep creating and also i wanted to tell you that for more resources and related content check out the description box below i will be updating it with additional information and link that will help deepen your understanding on this topic i'll see you in the next video until then take care and happy learning